what is going on full time family we have some stuff to talk about Anthony Pettis is going to be fighting Nate Diaz this weekend at UFC 241 and he was asked at a recent media scrum about Conor McGregor's recent bar attack on the senior citizen and he actually defended McGregor's actions somewhat and he defended it in the sense of he said we don't know what the man said and honestly that's enough for me to come to the conclusion beta pettis i mean no seriously there's no reason a man should put his hands on another person because their feelings got hurt if you are not defending yourself and you are attacking somebody you're risking a lot, you, especially if you have a family. You're risking your livelihood, you're risking your freedom, and it's all over an emotion. How are you going to be a leader and potentially lead your family one day as a man if you let your emotions control you and you, you risk everything? And it, it doesn't make any sense. That, that's, that, that's what betas do, honestly. And you want to know how you know it's really beta? Because if that was Francis Ngannou, John Jones, Daniel Cormier, Steve Amiocic sitting at that bar, and Conor McGregor offered him a shot and they turned it down, Conor McGregor is not throwing that punch. It doesn't matter what they say to you. It doesn't matter what Francis Ngannou says to Anthony Pettis or Conor McGregor. They can say, no, fuck your shot. They can say, no, fuck your whiskey. And Francis Ngannou could have literally told Conor McGregor, fuck your whiskey. And he's not throwing a punch. He's not going to let his emotions get him fucked up. By Francis Ngannou. Not, by, not when he don't even have a chance. But you'll sucker punch an old man. Oh, by the way, this was an old man, a senior citizen who can't defend himself. And oh, by the way, you're a professional fighter. How can you defend Conor McGregor here, Anthony Pettis? This is a professional fighter. This isn't even just some Joe Schmo off the streets throwing a fucking punch. This non-trained who doesn't even know how to punch. It's not one of those punches you see on fucking World Star at an old man. Because even if some fucking young kid went up to an old man at a bar and punched him on World Star and he didn't even know how to punch, it would have been fucked up. But this is a trained fighter. A world champion level trained fighter that has knockout power and knows how to punch. And he threw the punch at an old man. There's nothing that old man could have said that makes it make sense to punch him. Nothing. And so there's no way for Pettis to defend McGregor here, but he found a way to somehow do it. And you can't make this shit up. So Anthony Pettis defends Conor McGregor, and then Conor McGregor's teammate Dylan Dennis comes out and exposes Anthony Pettis. So you defend a guy, and then his teammate exposes you. You're defending a guy who could give two shits about you. His teammates don't give up, like, what are you trying to do? Get Conor McGregor to like you so you can get a fight with him? Like, there's no way to defend that without looking bad. So Pettis looked bad for defending McGregor here. And now look at what Dylan Dan has posted on Twitter. This was Anthony Pettis backstage talking to... Jorge Masvidal's teammate, Yoel Romero. Let me set the stage for you. Anthony Pettis and Ben Askren are training partners and teammates. They train at Duke Rufus with Tyron Woodley. We all know how good of friends Tyron Woodley and Ben Askren are. Well, they also train over there with Anthony Pettis. And so Anthony Pettis and Ben Askren are teammates. Ben Askren just got knocked out last couple of weeks ago by Jorge Masvidal. So Anthony Pettis' teammate just got knocked out. He goes up to 
Masvidal's friend and says, yo, I'm really happy you got the knockout. That was your teammate, bro. Listen to this. How's how are you doing? How's how are you doing? Good for him, bro. I was happy as yeah. Even though that's my teammate, man, that was beautiful as knockout. I'm gonna play it one more time. How's how are you doing? Good for him, bro. I was happy as yeah. Even though that's my teammate, man, that was beautiful as knockout. How's how are you doing? Good for him, bro. I was happy as yeah. Even though that's my teammate, man, that was beautiful as knockout. How's how are he asked the question. Joel Romero isn't even the one that went up to him right there in that video. Now, we don't know when the conversation started, so I'm not going to, you know, die on that point. But what I'm saying is, Anthony Pettis had a smile on his face. I was happy as fuck, man. You know, even though he's my teammate. So he just looks 100% like a snake right here. So first, you defend Conor McGregor's inexcusable actions. And now... You're happy your teammate got knocked out. I mean, Anthony Pettis just can't catch a break. He he doesn't look like a good person in these videos, honestly. It doesn't. It's not what he looks like. Now, you know the, these are just videos, so you can make your own opinion, of course. But that's to me, it's inexcusable what McGregor did. And so here we are now. And um, with that being said, I, I do want to touch on one last thing. The fights are this weekend. Of course, Anthony Pettis is going to be fighting Nate Diaz. And I'm sure a lot more people are probably rooting for Nate Diaz after this. But um, make sure you guys come join the Discord. This is where we, we talked about this situation. I mean, I was at work. Of course, I couldn't make a video. But, I mean, we're talking about these things all day in Discord. So make sure you click the link in the description. Come join us over here. And, and one other thing, a really good thing pointed out by my boy Robert Baratheon over here in the Discord. He said, this is like Daniel Cormier telling Michael Bisping, man, that was a great left hook on Luke Rockhold. I was happy for you. You know, because Daniel Cormier and, and Rockhold are, are such good friends and teammates. What does it look like if Daniel Cormier is happy or he, he congratulates Bisping on knocking out his best friend? Like, you know, that that's just... It is what it is, but yeah, man, join the Discord. Also, they are adding a new feature to Discord where you can go live. So, I mean, we've already been over here enjoying Discord just as the chat service, and now that you can go live on Discord, I'm sure I'm going to be uh, use, utilizing that feature. So make sure you guys come join the Discord, click the link in the description, and with that being said, it is what it is. Let the full-time family know what you think in the Discord. I'm out.